exactly. Yeah, it was my biggest fear coming in, and it was mm -hmm. at least for the first 30 of you know half, it was true. Yeah. Too kind of a, one of those things where it's too big a hole. You use a lot of energy. Yeah, it's a big hole. I you know. I think that when you play a team like Syracuse, the, the mentality of the team, the hype of the game, and all that, and it's cut tough to bring that level back up. And they're a really, really good team, and that's kind of why we have them on the schedule because we wanted to play some really tough ones before we open league play. Mm -hmm. Credit to them, they executed really well. And we executed terribly. You guys were on such a great well, and even the Syracuse game was a great game. Are you concerned that maybe they were starting to feel too good about themselves? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We had talked about that prior to even getting to that point. When we started with that winning streak about halfway through. Mm -hmm. Kind of thought, like, the guys weren't standing as focused as they needed to be. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. I knew it was going to get us. Uh, I, didn't, I was hoping at the Syracuse that we could kind of try to build on the confidence of playing a team like that that mm -hmm. well and let's use it as a stepping stone. But mm -hmm. apparently it didn't work. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you what you're talking about, but you think you got their attention in there? Uh, for, um, for what you want if them. not, then it's a sad statement about who we are. Mm -hmm. okay. Glover didn't have his typical dominant game. Was that Vermont? Just uh, I give credit to Vermont. Bodies. They were throwing bodies all over him, uh, like being very physical with him. I, mean, I also didn't think we came out sharing the ball. I thought we came out trying individually to show how good we were, which is not who we are as a team. I think we had only... Seven maybe assists in the first half, mm -hmm. and what we end up with for the game, 15. So I think that's a terrible job for us. Yeah. And when we play like that, we're not very good. We play like we played the first weekend of the year when guys were very selfish with the basketball. Mm -hmm. So you, you kind of think you got away from everything you were doing well? In Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I think right from the start of the game. I think the first few possessions where guys were taking shots they normally don't take, passing to the wrong guys. And I mean, how long late in the game was it before we actually passed the ball four or five times? to get a shot. And then on the defensive end, we were just turning our head everywhere and mm. everything that we worked on for two or three days, it was as if we hadn't worked on it at all. Mm. Complete breakdown. But that's, that's been our team, and today it was our team to a degree, and I take responsibility for that. Well, I've got to get them better in that area. The little guy, uh, the three, yeah, cool. yeah, I didn't know how to say it, but, but he was... I told the guys up. before the game, you're going to look at him, you're going to think he's no good, and he's going to be the best player on the court. Mm. And my coaching staff even didn't believe me, and unfortunately I was right. Mm. You know what? He's just a gym rat. He works hard all the time. Yeah. You don't have to convince him to work hard. That's the way he plays. Mm -hmm. A week now, you know, another week before another game. Is, is, you think maybe the momentum you build up, because you don't get to play again for a while, it kind of wanes off a little bit, and you have to kind of almost restart everything? Yeah, but in our case, it might be a good thing to restart right now because I think we're, you know, we need to restart everything from square one, especially on the defensive end. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually looking forward to having that time to uh, get in here for lots and lots of hours over the holidays and try to improve. Mm -hmm. All right, sir. thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Appreciate you appreciate you're doing well during the streak, but this game, like, nothing was really working. Um, yeah, I mean, shots weren't falling. Um, it seemed like we were going away from what we were doing. Uh, I'll be one of the biggest corporate at that. Um, I was trying to look for my teammates, and uh, I felt that shots weren't going in, so I kind of started taking more shots than I usually take. Mm -hmm. But, um, I mean, it, it just was an off game, really. Um, we should have we should have came together and just stuck together and kept doing what we do and mm -hmm. just stuck to the system. But, I mean, the way it was going, it seemed like it wasn't working. And it was just like nothing was falling for us today. So. Coach said that maybe you guys were feeling a little bit too good about yourselves, especially with the streak and playing well against Syracuse, and that he was worried about this game coming in. Um, yeah, they were worried about it. Um, we knew it was going to be in for a tough one. Um, I just feel like we just have to be more focused in the game at hand, the task at hand, and all the other stuff that's not on the court during that night we can't mm -hmm. worry about. You, you guys have usually been getting a lot more easy baskets. You're just dumping it off to the mic and and stuff in it that wasn't happening as much tonight. Was nah, that? they were like, I mean, while I was driving, they were they were more trying to make me do the scoring instead of dishing it off. So they kind of were like staying out and staying towards their mans and making me create something. And it was kind of hard for me to drive to the basket and look for somebody, and it kind of wasn't working. Did uh, whatever coach was talking about, did he kind of get your guys' attention in there? No, nah, he definitely did. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks, Scotty.